I pretty much look like death right now, but I have like the worst cold. My nose is super red of all the um, sneezing, coughing. Um, it's just horrible. And um, I'm going to do my makeup right now so I don't have to look this bad because it's pretty bad. Um, but since I'm like, you know, cleaning my nose so often, I don't know if I should put makeup here, but I'm going to do my makeup. I'll be right back. Just wanted to say hi. Oh, here's my face not looking like death. I tried a little bit, but still feels sick. Hi, babe. How are Hello. you feeling today? I'm feeling great. <laughs> mm, I'm not. But anyways, we're gonna go. It's really, really sunny. Super sunny, 74 degrees. 74 degrees here in San Diego, but the worst thing about being sick is being in a hot weather that's the worst thing because you feel sick you don't want to be sweating you're already sweating because you already feel sick and like on top of that you're hot and it's just like ah, boogers everywhere and it's like not cool but it is a nice day and i'm glad i'm out and yesterday we were working out yes we were working out at the house while we were watching the food network because that's just what we do and um, we saw that this guy, Guy Fieri, the driver's divins and dives. dives and dinings and dives. Um, he uh, no, drivers divins and dives. Whatever. Okay, you know, yeah. you know who he is. The guy with the spiky hair, um, bleach spiky hair. Anyway, um, oh hash house is back there. Anyway, so we saw he said Crest Cafe, I and we're like, dude, Crest. we've been there all the time. I mean, we passed through there and like, and he showed like the most ridiculously great looking um, food. So we're like, we gotta hit that place up soon. We're on that kind of quest and journey. We've kind of been on it like for the past year and a half where we're like, dude, we go to LA, we travel to all these places. We go out of town for a little, just, you know, get away. And it's like, there's a bunch of ridiculously delicious places here in San Diego. We're like, we they're in our backyard. I'm like, we need to check them out. Like. We need to make that a priority to know these places and to just invest and spend a little bit more money on that. So we're here. We're going to show you guys what this fuss is all about. So when you guys come to San Diego, you guys know about this great place called Crest Cafe. We're looking for parking, so. And it's got hash brown eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon, um, yeah. I got some yucatan tostadas and it's just like a fried tostada with egg on top, um, black beans with chorizo and then like a mango salsa. I can't wait to eat. That was so delicious. Do you like it babe? Yes I did. It was really, really good, um, except for the fact that I don't feel too well. Like I feel uncomfortable, like sneezing and wiping my nose in front of everyone. But man, the food was so good. We had like a Mexican option. It was bomb. Because the owners are actually Mexican, so. Pretty sure you guys don't know where we're at. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you guys don't know where we're at right now. But okay, we'll assume that you guys know. Anyway, we're here at the W store trying to buy Allie a um, a leash, not not a leash, it's a um, neck strap, a collar, because I showered her today and she has this really thing, this thing about eating these plastic things and like I think this, since we've had her, we've already bought, oh there she is. We bought her like still sick. Look at my nose. 
We bought her like five or six of these because we accidentally misplaced them. And she goes and she beats and eats the crap out of them. So we're here. Um, we usually go for the pink one, so that's what we'll do. But anyway, we're here. She's still sick. We're buying some Mexican medicine, which is not as good as the one they sell in Mexico across the border. But eh. It's still all right. It's still all right. And um, Like if you're Mexican and you know about Aquisaletres. Pretty much. So we're here and... Um, <coughs> That's uh, it. That's it. That's all we came for. There's not much that you can do with your wife when she's kind of sick, you know, so it's just kind Pretty of... much took a nap and then just chilled. And I think I look pretty good for being sick compared to this guy. People at Walmart over here with his pantuflas. At least I didn't wear my pantuflas. <clears throat> Whatever. So, even though I'm sick, there's always time for some popcorn. I'm totally craving popcorn with chile. Pee! And lemon and stuff. So, now to make some. Happens. We're making two batches of popcorn, and before the even the even the other one starts, one's already gone. You now we have to make another one, but then this one's gonna be gone, and then you know just the cycle keeps on going. <sighs> Does that happen to you? But it's so bomb, huh? So good. Popcorn is so good. Did you just say suck it? No, I said so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Give me off camera. No. If I look horrible, you can look horrible too. No, 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 not about that. Who are you trying to impress, babe? No one. Exactly. Just kidding. Mm, I wish you guys can taste it. It's so good. And I like them when they're kind of burnt. Like, all my stuff needs to be almost burnt. Like, my meat needs to be Border well, line. well, well done. Like almost like charred, like that burnt. And my popcorn needs to be kind of burnt. You see like that brownish? That's how it needs to be. I mean, I enjoy it the other way too, but if it's burnt, it tastes really good to me. My tortillas need to be burnt. Tortillas? My, my toast needs to be really toasted. My tortillas? Are you guys like that too? Or am I the only one? Because Uzi likes everything like almost raw. Pretty much. I'm, a, I'm all about that very rare meat. Very rare meat. Very rare meat. Very rare salmon. Very rare tuna. Very rare everything. Mm -mm. Mine needs to be really well cooked. So... It's about 12 o'clock right now. She's still sick. And I drank these, and it says drink them every four hours. And like, okay, I started off with Tylenol for a cold. Started from and the bottom now. Right now, here. I truly do look like death. I apologize. This will not happen again. But I don't know that. look at how bad my nose is. Mm -hmm. It's so red, so red. So pelado. Anyways, <clears throat> I drank my Tylenol first. That didn't do anything. I did not even feel better. As a matter of fact, I felt worse. Mm. Then we went to Walmart, bought these XL3s because supposedly they work like right, like super quick. And then I drank them at eight. They're drowsy. I'm wide awake. It's been four hours. <laughs> 
and I'm so sad. Okay, the saddest part is that I'm really, really sick. Like, not only do I sound sick or anything, but my body feels tired. Like, um, not like I'm tired from, because I haven't rested. No, it's just, I feel like sore, like tired. And tomorrow I have to go to church and I have to sing. And I'm not going to be able to because we will sing, sing, I don't have sing. energy. Pa, pa, <laughs> and I want to go to church. Let's just say a quick little prayer. Jesus, help me feel better for tomorrow so I can go to church. <laughs> and 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 I can I can sing. Just kidding, I'm not. You singing. just sing so people can see you up on stage all cute in the outfit. Wow. At least I do something. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's not true. That is definitely not true. We do stuff at church too. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I am going to church no matter what. Like, I mean, I can, I can walk. I'm not disabled. I just <laughs> cannot sing for services because I'm too sick. But um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I look like death. And sorry this guy looks like death too, even though he doesn't say it. And I'll see you guys later. Eat your fruits Bye. and vegetables. Eat your fruits and vegetables.